Hi, I'm Matthew Fairbairn. I'm the coordinator of the Visual World Investigate Lab that we're about to enter. Come in, let me show you a couple things we have going on in here. So here we have a dozen different computer stations running a mixture of programs, of programs that we develop here in the lab and programs that are freely available to the public. We like to use technologies that are novel, such as augmented reality, like this first station that we have here. This station runs an augmented reality program that shows you near real-time data of the entire planet, from imagery to pollution data. So it's a mixture of GIS and augmented reality, where you can hold the world and see what's going on in the environment. Here's another augmented reality program we have about Adam, a subject that's typically dry to children, but we make it fun by allowing them to hold atoms in their hand and create molecular bonds. So for example, we have a couple atoms here. We have a couple hydrogens and an oxygen, and you can put them together to create a water molecule. Next just showing a sample here. Here's a program developed for the biodiversity lab, research lab here at the museum. So they do a lot of camera trapping and we get their photographs, we put them in this machine, in this program, and then the public gets to tag the photographs with whatever animals they see. After we tag all the pictures, then they go back to the research and we get new pictures. Another program that we have that's also citizen science is Folded, a, a protein folding game that allows kids to manipulate portions of proteins in order to uh, work with real data, data that is used uh, to help cure diseases by figuring out what combinations proteins can be twisted into. This is our other section over here. This is all about electronics and robotics, where kids and adults can create circuits and learn about robotics. Now, of course, we also teach classes here in the lab where people can learn how to create robots such as these, or how to write programs or create maps using GIS. And then here's a program that we ask people to try at the end of their visit. This is a program where they enter data, where they enter comments and information about where they're from and what they think about the lab. And then they can display, it displays the data using graphs and charts and maps. So thank you for visiting. This is the Visual World Investigate Lab. I'm Matthew Fairbairn.